Hello, welcome to Other Random. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, down the bottom, this is an old Jim Beam bottle. Running out of that is a ball lock on some 8mm, uh, 5mm ID, 8mm OD uh, EVA line. Running up to the uh, gas fitting, the couple sitting there, it's been modified out to accept ball lock posts. I just noticed there's a bit of bloody. I was drying some shit up in there. Okay, coming down here, you've got the uh, heater belt and the, uh, the the probe for the uh, ST, which is sitting up there. And yes, if you notice, there's a lot of shit on top of my fridge because the roof. Um, but otherwise, it's clean down in here, which is where it needs to be. So this is just running as a blow-off tube at the moment and later, as I discuss with someone else, uh, what will happen is this will go, well firstly, to gauge, let's see if we can get it in focus, hang on, maybe not with this, um, yeah I've got the, uh, Pick it up there? No. Okay. Anyway, it's a uh, it goes to 40 psi. It's got a bit crazed under that light, so it's just a bit weird. Uh, anyway, that will go in the, in line. So with the red, that's the direction of the uh, gas flow. So what I'm waiting for right now is the uh, if there's a large Krausen layer uh, that will actually blow off into the sanitizer solution down here in the bottom so that won't be a problem. Um, however if it was to flow through it would just hit this check valve here uh, and not end up inside our little gauge. Um, however once it's hooked up it will basically, I'll see if I can get my hand out of the way it will look like that so we're running off there and that you can adjust it and I've been doing that anyway uh, I just thought I'd come back to the whole homebrew thing because I was yabbering on about doing this so sitting inside here is uh, 45 odd litres of uh, a real ale with malt and dextrose, just a very basic brew. Two cans of Cooper's Real Ale, kilo of dextrose, kilo of malt, and uh, three 20 gram editions of Cascade Hops. So I know it's a boring inside of the fridge, but uh, there's a point of why I've been doing all this shit, so I'm just documenting it for myself anyway. Um, yeah, that's about it. Sorry I can't get a better shot of it, but if I try and go from up there, maybe that's a bit better. So she's sitting at 36 at the moment. Haven't pitched the yeast. Well, I've pitched some of it. And I know at 36 it's eh, not tolerant, but what I have is a line cleaner, so I can actually pump crap back into the fermenter. So I'll do that with a yeast starter. Um should this not kick off into life but if it kicks off into life I'll come back I'll show you that in case there's a big blowout um, down into here but yeah I'll just show you the gauge working which I mean I'll have to uh, take the um, focus off this thing anyway it's been long enough I think so we'll come back when it's sort of chilled down and fermenting along at a nicer temperature Anyway, TR, looks pics, and the odd home brew video, brudio, I've been up all fucking night brewing, so I'm really fucking tired and need to go to bed, and I didn't even have a fucking beer while I did it, so, there you go, not everyone who fucking makes piss is a piss head, um, some people just like make, making things, so anyway, there's my keg, and that should fill, if I just drag this over, this bad boy, two of those. Um, yeah. So there's three of those, uh, three 19 litres full at the moment. 
I'm trying to get this in shot, just a bit of practice for next time. Yeah, 319 litres full. That one's a wash keg. Uh, there's one of these guys cleaned and emptied, um, sanitised, bit of gas sitting in it for um, this to be pressure transferred to. And I've got another one that's full as a goog of fucking sanitizer. So I'm not I've got about so many liters of fucking sanitizer on me at the moment. I'm not gonna run out of that anytime soon. Anyway <coughs> just documenting this whole fridge shenanigans and obviously I need to clean the top of my fucking fridge. It goes with that saying. But it's not affecting what's inside it. It's mainly dust and small leaf particulate matter that comes in when there's a big breeze. Anyway that's me making fucking excuses for why my fucking fridge top isn't clean. Anyway, again, <laughs> TR Locks and Picks. Thanks for watching. Catch us later. Now, bye.